Hello, YouTubers. Uh, you're like me and want an aluminum spool gun that have a little MIG pack. A MIG pack 10. Uh, they sell a spool gun the 100 SG. For the longest time I looked at these, but I w didn't know if they would work for my MIG. So I did some research on YouTube and online and stuff and couldn't find any specifics. So I just took the gamble and bought one. It's the same plug, plugs in, you take your other spool out. Um, it comes with a wiring harness. That is no good to you if you have this machine. It comes with this and a toggle switch. Uh, because it's not a plug-in machine, it's made for the speed connectors. And this just turns it off and on. <clears throat> uh, basically, all you gotta do is your drive motor down here, wires come up, cut into them, cut into it and you're going to add a switch this comes in the kit and basically steal the power what you need to do is steal the power from this motor and run to this motor because you're running a spool gun basically bypass it in there make it all look pretty you drill the hole and there's four wires that are on the end of this plug that come out here there's a little plug you have to cut it off and the two white wires are just your on and off switch it doesn't matter which way they go that's just your regular connection that was on the other spool gun whatever it is right here this this is your deal that's what all all it is is just a on and off switch when you pull the trigger so you need those two and then you have to steal the other ones <coughs> off of your uh, to run your drive motor so basically you can disconnect this one and put it to that one that's what the switch does switches power from this one to that one that's really the only thing you need to switch uh, you got to make sure you know what it's going the right direction That's the only thing is check your spool make sure it's going the right direction. So this looks basically pretty simple It's all said and done you Pull the trigger you can see Running your normal wire one down here Well, it's not running power up here. So when I put the switch here Now with these connected I put a male and a female so I can't mix it up later on That's all I did was use the insulated ones so they can't touch later on uh, Basically, you plug these in, pull her out. You'll need to make sure you have the one with the option of the gas valve. If it doesn't, that's a kit you can add on. You just add the two wires in here on the circuit board. Mine had it in it, but now I switched it. It runs it. It mid -load, So, if you have a mid pack 10 and there's a bunch of other models that are similar, you can run a Magnum 100 SG spool gun on these uh, you'll just have to do a little bit of wiring it's a gray and a white one here if you trace it back down to the bottom you'll see your little drive motor right here um, these two wires basically you're going to cut into it and steal power to the spool gun or back to your normal machine uh, that's all i can say it's doable lincoln says it's not many of us have proved it is if, you, if you're good at doing a little bit of wiring that's all you gotta do and you can weld some aluminum. So there you go. Hope I'll help some of you out.